Hey, Gary Drayton here, and when I'm not on Oak Island, I'm back home here in Florida, searching for Spanish treasure on the treasure coast of Florida. Hey, I've got a signal over here. <laughs> this is so cool. It's a ring. It's down there, look. Wow. That's a screamer. Yeah. That's going to be something good. From rumors of being kicked off the show to then joining the Fellowship of the Dig, here's what happened to Gary Drayton. As we all know, surface metal detecting expert Gary Drayton has been one of the best additions to the early seasons of The Curse of Oak Island. But some rumors surfaced that he was no longer going to be on the show. However, the show has revealed that in Season 5, Gary joined the crew full-time. He is extremely motivated and eager to find more treasure on Oak Island, even though he has already provided us with so many unforgettable discoveries. Which of these discoveries do you remember the most? The Legina brothers and Gary Drayton have found some really important stuff over the years. They discovered a hidden tunnel that was buried for 250 years and even found King Charles II's treasure from the 17th century. These discoveries are a big deal in Oak Island's history. There's a hole called B4C shaft in the Money Pit, just five feet north of Borehole C. The team is digging it deeper and it's getting close to 90 feet. They found interesting things in the C1 cluster suggesting there might be wooden tunnels from the 15th century. Just hit our target depth. We were looking to hit a tunnel, and what we did hit was approximately seven and a half feet of upright. They also found a lot of silver and gold, making people wonder if the original money pit is nearby, or if there's a secret treasure room connected by a tunnel. They're wondering how people in the 15th century knew how to make wooden tunnels and why they made them. Finding a tunnel at 90 feet is a big hint that they might be close to the real money pit. Every time the team digs, they get more and more excited. They're hoping the next shovel will uncover hidden treasures. The team believes that finding gold in the water means it might have been put there intentionally in the money pit. While digging, they find pieces of wood and something special. The heck? Rick! Check this out. I guess I don't have to ask what you found. No, I mean, this is... A really old piece of iron, Rick. Yeah, and huge. Yeah. A big iron fastener. It looks old, maybe from the 1800s or even earlier. Even though it's roughly made, they think it's older than when they found the money pit. This shows there are important things from a long time ago on the island. And you can just tell the weight of this. This is unforged, a piece of Oak Island history. Among the discoveries is a handcrafted spike and the team thinks it's valuable. They plan to study it closely to learn more about it. Each piece they find is important in understanding the island's history, the rusty look, the use of old-fashioned handmade iron, and the signs of wear and tear make the iron spike on Oak Island quite valuable. It could tell a lot about the island's history, but there's a bit of a problem. They hit bedrock about 130 feet deep in the B4C shaft. Because of time limits, they have to stop digging in the money pit area for now. They've been digging in five big holes for months, and the evidence they found makes them pretty sure the hidden treasure they've been searching for over 200 years is still somewhere on the mysterious Oak Island. The team knows the money pit is tricky and need new technologies and smart ways to use them to keep going with their mission. They've got scientific proof that there's a lot of gold and silver under the ground. That's enough reason for them to keep going trying to find that ultimate treasure. Each time they dig a new hole or find something new, it helps them understand more about what's going on. The team feels good about the progress they're making. Now they have specific measurements for the tunnel, and they found a handmade iron spike. Crazy. Spike, no? No, it's too, I think it's too big to be a railroad spike. I mean, it's very, very heavy as well. They think it's pretty important, and they want to do more tests on it, like C-14 testing. In a meeting at the research center, Marty Legina, Craig Tester, Gary Drayton, and blacksmithing expert Carmen Legg get together to talk about the iron spike. Carmen knows a lot about this stuff, and by studying the spike, they might learn more about where it comes from and why it's important. You can see how the head is very well uh, mushroomed. They would be anchored into rock and then you know, knock it out and continue on down the line. Carmen's analysis revealed that the iron spike was actually a rock drill, a tool people used in medieval times. This drill might be connected to when they first made the money pit. The idea of finding a hidden room or secret space is getting the team even more excited. 
They're looking at all the things they found on Oak Island, like the stone-paved area in the swamp and the ancient stone road. The team is wondering who started the mystery of Oak Island and left all these clues. Could they be close to figuring out who did it? And what secrets might be in the money pit waiting to be found? For fans of The Curse of Oak Island, there's an episode where Gary Drayton keeps finding one surprise after the other. The first big find is a really important piece of evidence, a signal hidden in a wall. Following this unexpected discovery, they find a huge caster wheel buried underground. I know what it is. It's a caster. It's a, a caster wheel. If you think about it, we're on an island with lots of tunnels. You would need a little dolly with casters on the bottom. Gary thinks this wheel might have been used in the past for digging tunnels on Oak Island. This connects to earlier finds of tunneling tools on the island. It's a bit crazy to think about. Did people from a thousand years ago have high-tech tunneling tools like this? As Gary finds proof of a secret tunnel, it makes people curious. Who put this thing there in the first place, and who found it later on? Was it the original people who hid stuff there, or was it the ones who came looking for it later? The team is all set to dig deeper into the caster wheel they found. Gary Drayton, the metal detecting expert, is working with the rest of the team. Geoscientist Dr. Ian Spooner, archaeologist Dr. Aaron Taylor, and Miriam Amerald. They're on a mission to find stone walkways that might lead to a hidden underground feature near the eastern edge of the marsh. Gary Drayton and his crew, joined by Rick Legina, the leader of the Oak Island team, made a cool discovery while searching along the shoreline. Buried under rocks and scattered pyrite, they found two coins from King Charles II's time, dating back to the 17th century. Charles II, yeah? <sighs> yep, Charles II. That's way too early for people to be here. That's <laughs> 120 years before the find of the money. One of the coins had the year 1771 clearly marked, making everyone think these coins have been hidden for a really long time. People naturally wonder where these 17th century coins came from. Could it be that someone, in a hurry to find hidden treasure, accidentally dropped these valuable coins? Who I see? That's Charles II. Come on. Yeah, that's Charles. This isn't George. Look, that's it, the back of his head. There's his face. The mysteries of Oak Island get even more interesting as these discoveries give a peek into the island's mysterious past. Now here's another idea to think about. Is it possible that a rich group purposely hid these valuable items to protect their treasures on Oak Island? This question opens up a lot of possibilities and definitely needs more investigation by the Oak Island team. During Gary Drayton's metal detecting adventure, he got really lucky and found not just one but two special treasures. First, he found a button near Oak Island's shore that used to be on the uniform of a military officer from the 17th century. But they're not sure which military group it belonged to. It's still a mystery. There's a big guess going on about whether this military group had something to do with hiding the island's mysterious secrets. On that same day, Gary Drayton and his team went into a nearby forest and found a small coin in the dirt. They thought it was another Maravetti from the 17th century, similar to one they found in the last season. This coin looks smaller, maybe like two Maravettis instead of the eight from the previous find. These simple discoveries could lead to finding a much bigger hidden treasure somewhere on Oak Island. This adds more proof to the tools they already found on the island, and now they're wondering if it was left by the first people who hid things, or by the ones who came looking later. The team is really interested in this new evidence, and they're excited to study it more closely in the future. The famous Money Pit on Oak Island is where the island's history of treasure hunting began. This pit, known as the Money Pit, is believed to be the key to finding the island's hidden treasures. The story started in 1795 when a group of young explorers, about 13 or 14 years old, found a hole in the ground while going around the island. They got curious and started digging, thinking it was a pit made by people. As they dug deeper, they found layers of logs and different things, but they eventually had to give up because they were digging with their hands, making it impossible to explore further. Word spread quickly about their find, attracting treasure hunters from all over to Oak Island, hoping to discover the rumored riches. In 1803, a group of investors known as the Onslow Company were the first to organize a dig at the Money Pit, giving it that name. Unfortunately, 
Their attempt to reach the pit's bottom didn't work out due to sudden flooding of the pit, so they had to stop. For the next hundred years, different groups tried their best to solve Oak Island's mysteries, and they faced lots of challenges and problems that stopped them from making much progress. The big question remains, did someone intentionally leave these items here to protect their treasures on Oak Island? One of the toughest challenges in finding Oak Island's treasure was dealing with the pit flooding all the time. This was a big problem for treasure hunters. The pit was cleverly set up with booby traps to make it flood, stopping anyone from getting to the hidden riches. Still, determined people kept trying. The Legina brothers in their ongoing search are thankful for the strong support from their team and viewers. The mystery of Oak Island has become a complicated but interesting puzzle over the years. The Legina brothers are sure there's gold on Oak Island, and their discoveries back that up. They're determined to find the hidden treasure in the money pit. They see the progress they've made and say it's crucial to keep pushing forward in the next dig. They believe that gaining knowledge is just as important as physically digging. The Legina brothers' dreams from childhood keep them curious as they continue the search for the legendary treasure on Oak Island. While digging in the money pit, they found a lot of silver and gold 90 feet deep, making them think the original money pit or a tunnel leading to treasure might be there. Even though they faced problems like hitting bedrock at 130 feet in the B4C shaft, the team is determined to solve these challenges using new technologies. The gold and silver under the ground keep them hopeful. Every time they find something, whether it's old wood or iron fasteners, they feel like they're getting closer to reaching their goal. It's not just about getting rich. They also want to uncover the island's mysteries and hidden history. When they think about what they found, like the stone paved area in the swamp and the ancient stone road, they wonder who could be behind the Oak Island mystery. Everyone is hopeful about finding the treasure and discovering the secrets that Oak Island is hiding. The spooky discoveries on Oak Island have tested people's courage and curiosity. Some secrets are so important that it's worth risking everything to find them. As the season ends, there's still hope for the big discovery they've been waiting for.